Do you want to kill me? Sit on the bed. Hands to your side, palms on the covers. You were following me. Can you not point the gun in my face? You were just a motherfucking stalker. I would be within my right to shoot you dead here and now. No, I'm not that kind of stalker. Bullshit. I'm not, Dr. Lamb. You were in my class. And at Dr. Sipes. Yes, I'm a graduate student. Were you sent here? Someone paying you? No. Then you have one chance to answer this question correctly. If I don't like what I hear, I'm either going to kill you or call the cops. You don't have a phone. Why are you here? I'll put it this way. I say I'm a Jew. I'm not. Say I am. Now, as a child, I learned my grandparents they were murdered at Auschwitz. What do I do? I immerse myself in a subject. All the camps attending horrors. I study hard. I, I excel. Full tuition scholarships. Get them into. You know, prestigious universities, both graduate and undergraduate now. I said graduate university. On my, my first class, on my first day. I look up and see Dr. Mengele standing at the lectern. For Dr. Mengele has been given an honorary chair in the political science department. And will be lecturing me. You had family there. What you committed was an atrocity, a crime against humanity. I, we believed we were making the world a safer Shut place. Up. We believed Shut we up. were protecting Shut this up. country. Shut up! You're a fucking war criminal and you should be hung as such. What's your name? My what? Martin. Martin Sully. Okay. Martin Sully. You have your mangala. You're staring into the abyss. Now what? Do you want to kill me? No. No. I, um... I just want to understand how evil works. Evil? Yeah. I want to know everything. Like, does it wear silk or, or eat off fine china? Does it drink latte? How does it take the unthinkable and, and, and make you real, you know? Does it have remorse? You know, how, do, how does it keep going? I want to know the big questions. I want to I know the details. I want to know everything. I want to, I just want to understand everything. Sit back down. Please. Sit back down. 
Read it. You want to understand? Read it. All of it. Start there. Mr. President, because time is of the essence, I've asked my National Security Affairs Advisor, Elizabeth Lamb, to address the group. Elizabeth has taken all the intel, phone intercept satellite imagery, signals intelligence, and human assets. And I think you will agree that her findings are definitive and convincing, necessitating immediate and total action, if she may. Smartest person in the room. <laughs> you bet. Elizabeth, please. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, we are currently presented with a moment in time in which a single decisive act could literally change the course of history. The evidence and opportunity is undeniable. Omar al Abadi, ISIL, Kamal Latif, Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, Sajjad al Jaber, Jabhat al Nusra, Modar al Hazmi, Hezbollah, Khalid Sadu, Jaish al Sham, and Dr. S. Q. Vadat, former head of the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran, and quite possibly the most dangerous man in the world. Unbeknownst to one another, these six men, five leaders of terrorist organizations, and Dr. Vadat, a rogue agent dedicated to the proliferation of nuclear weapons technology, will all be in the same city, Homs, Syria, at the same time this very evening. Excuse me, Elizabeth, where is Homs exactly? Approximately 162 kilometers north of Damascus. That's... That's about 100 miles. Got it. Thank you. They did get the damn metric system. <laughs> Our best estimate is a four-hour overlap between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. local time, in which these known enemies will be within the city of Homs, all targets of opportunity. A strike to the heart of Homs at this moment would cripple, if not terminate, the threat of terrorism this country has faced for nearly three decades at the cost of thousands of lives and trillions of dollars. It is approximately 7.05 p.m. local time, giving us just under five hours to approve and execute the action. And what type of strike are you proposing? Well, we've prepared three scenarios um, in which- Elizabeth, uh, excuse me. I'm, I'm gonna interrupt. Ladies and gentlemen, if we act now, we can defeat these primeval bastards once and for all. Now, Elizabeth is gonna walk us through some scenarios, but I am convinced that our response should be total and absolute. Elizabeth, if you would continue, please. Thank you, Madam Vice President. <laughs> 